हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू क्लासिक एजुकेशन यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम महेश पुंडेवेश ए फैकल्टी मेंबर फॉर आई बी पी एस एस्परेंट्स सो टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर सेशन एज एस बी आई नोटिफिकेशन इज आउट स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडियाज नोटिफिकेशन इज आउट फॉर टू वेरियस पोस्ट्स ओके सो दैट्स वाई वी वेर डिस्कसिंग द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस ओके दैट हैव कम इन एस बी आई एग्जामिनेशन सो इन द सेम वे टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस विच आर बेस्ड ऑन टाइम एंड वर्क टाइम एंड वर्क इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर अवर एग्जामिनेशन टाइम एंड वर्क पाइप्स एंड सिस्टर्न ओके सो इट इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर अवर एग्जामिनेशन सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सम ऑफ द मेन्स लेवल क्वेश्चंस ओके दिस इज नॉट अ मेन्स लेवल क्वेश्चन बट हियर सर्टनली वी हैव अ मेन्स लेवल क्वेश्चन सो हियर वी आर हैविंग सो दिस क्वेश्चन हैड कम इन एस बी आई टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन ओके इन द मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन सो वी विल डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन टूडे राइट सो बिफोर वी डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन ओके सो वॉट वी विल डू इज वी विल फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टाइम एंड वर्क ओके सो विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन राइट सो हियर बेसिकली वी सी वी ऑल नो दैट वी सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स इन टाइम एंड वर्क we solve the problems we have around two to three methods okay so even there are some other methods also but the, in general okay we have lca method we solve by formula methods okay sometimes we solve it by number line also right so we all know that the basic formula okay the basic formula of uh, time and work is uh, m1 t1 d1 w1 sorry not w1 e1 right e1 okay and divided by w1 right and this is equals to okay so m1 m2 sorry m2 t2 d2 and e2 divided by w2 right so this is the general formula that we use in our examinations right but see everywhere we don't use formula certainly there are certain types of problems where we use this particular formula and in a certain type of problems we use lcm method right so we will some other day we will discuss the problems which are based on the formula okay when it will be directly proportional when it will be inversely proportional okay so those uh, concepts which are based on the formula method that we will discuss it separately now basically here in this particular type of problems we solve it by using lcm type of problems okay so we will solve lcm type of problems okay so here is a simple question given to me that a does a work in 30 days b does it in 60 days c does it in 12 days then in how many days a b and c together will do the entire work right so in short i have written the question okay in short i have written the question so let us solve this question first now when in detail so first i will tell you the things in detail okay in this particular question we will discuss in detail particularly thing so presently you might uh, feel that it is lengthy but actually it is not lengthy okay so we will first understand the concept and then we will solve the problems okay right so now you see here a will do a work a does a work in 30 days b does the same work in 60 days and c does it in 12 days okay so these are the okay these are the number of days or the number of work okay they are going to do individually now one thing you always remember whenever you write the values here okay it might be 30 days 60 days 12 days or 10 days whatever number of days is been given to me always look at the question carefully and always write these values okay you have to write the values which are present in the question you can write only those values okay which should be 100% work done value so it should always be 100% work done value okay it should be always 100% work done values right 
so it can be in the form of days or it can be in the form of minutes it can be in the form of hours so basically if i want to tell you so here you have to write the 100% work done okay value so it can be in the form of days it can be in the form of hours it can be in the form of minutes or it can be in the form of seconds in the form of time right so now one point you have to note here i told you that whatever values you write here it should be always the 100% work done value it should be always the 100% work done value but here i did not tell that who that 100% work is going to do whether it is done by individual whether it is done by two persons or whether it is done by three persons that is not important if individual 100% is done then also we are going to write if suppose if he is telling you that ram and sham both together completed a work in 10 days i repeat ram and sham both together completed a work in 10 days so if i am telling you that ram and sham both of them together they worked and they completed a work in 10 days that means here also 100% work done is okay here also the work done is 100% but the thing is that 100% work is done work is been entirely completed by two persons ram and sham so when this type of statements are given in the question in that case i will write it as ram plus sham did the work in 10 days okay in this particular part because what is my condition my condition is very simple my condition is whatever values you are going to write here it should be 100% work done value okay it should be 100% work done value so that 100% work is done by a individual person two persons together or three persons together or even four persons together that doesn't matters so what is going to be the important point here here always the 100% work done value has to be written fine now let us move to the okay problem so how to solve this uh, question okay let me write it once again so a does a work in 30 days okay let it be so let it be only this much okay so let us remove this part so a has done it in 30 days b did it in 60 days and c did it in 12 days so now what we will do is we will find the lcm of this three okay lcm of this three numbers okay so what will be the lcm of this three number 60 will be the lcm now most of the students they find it difficult to understand or how to uh, take the lcm so they have some difficulty in taking the LCM. I will tell you one simple thing. See, if you are preparing for banking examination, that means at least your tables should be good. At least your calculations should be good, right? Because the basic requirement of banking examination is tables, yes or no? So the basic requirement is tables. You should know the fast calculations, multiplication of two digit numbers, okay so those things at least it is the basic requirement squares cubes prime numbers okay so you, we all okay those all who are preparing for banking examination this is the basic requirement right so whenever this type of questions they come in the examination so what i tell is usually so what you need to do you take the greater value so which is the greater value here 60 is the greater value right so in the mind you read the table of 60 so 60 ones are 60 so in that table you just see okay whether this remaining two numbers are getting completely divided or not say for example 60 ones are is a 60 so in 60 just see whether your 12 and 30 the remaining two numbers are they divisible by 60 or not so they are divisible by 60 
So, my LCM for this number will be, it will be 60, okay, it will be 60. Now, sometimes any other number will be given to you, okay. So, in that case, you have to just read the table of 60 in the mind, okay, you have to read the table of 60 in the mind and then you can find the LCM, right. Now, see here, let me tell you whether you are writing banking examinations or any of the SSC examinations or railways. See, there are certain, if I observe, I have observed, okay, around uh, last 15 years question papers of uh, SSC, whether it is uh, uh, CGL, CHSL, okay, or MTS, or I have observed last 10 years question papers of banking also, IBPS, SBI, okay, and along with that, even railways exams I have watched. I have seen the question papers of the state government also. And one thing what I have observed, there are certain pairs of numbers. There are certain pairs of numbers, right? There are certain pairs of numbers which have come repetitive number of times, okay? Repetitive. Uh, they are been asked the n number of times, the same set of numbers, okay? So, here 30, 12, okay, 60 is there, 15 is the another number, 36, 24, 8. So, these are certain numbers where he is going to pair within them only, right? So, sometimes he will give you some other number, but most of the times, okay? So, the pairing of these numbers are what? They are same, fine. Now, let us come to this particular problem again. So, 60 is the LCM of this. Now, for time being, for our understanding, what I will do is, I will represent this 60 as work. I will represent, what is this 60? It is the total work. Okay, it is the total work. So, this is the total work that I have to do. That means, in simple words, if I want to tell you, so, if A can do a work in 30 days, that means, in that 30 days, whatever work he has completed, that work is 60 work. Right? So, the total work that I have to do is 60 work. Okay? So, for time being, what I will do here is, I will represent this as a W. Okay, I will represent this as a W. W means what? Work. That means 60 units of work I have to do. Okay, so I have to do, basically I have to do 60 units of work. Right? So now what I will do is, uh, I will find the eff efficiency of individual. I will find the efficiency of A, B and C. I will find the efficiency of A, B and C. Now what is efficiency? If I want to tell you in a simple words, it is one day work. Okay, it is one day work. Now, you see what is mean by one day work, we will understand it from here that he is telling me that A is a person and A will do 30 units, uh, sorry, A will do a work in 30 days. A is going to do 60 units of work in 30 days. If A has done 60 units of work in 30 days, now suppose if I divide this, okay, 60 work divided by 30 days, if I divide it, then how much I am going to get? I am going to get 2 units of work per day. If I divide it, then what I am going to get? I am going to get 2 units of work per day. That means, that means A is going to do 2 units of work per day, every day. If he is working for 1 day, he will do 2 units of work. If he is working for 2 day, he will do 4 units of work. If he is doing if he is working for three days, he will do six units of work and so on. That means it is one day work and this itself, this unit, okay, this unit itself is nothing but efficiency. Okay, this itself is nothing but what? This itself is efficiency. That means what units of work they will do it in one day. See, always it is not compulsory that it should be on one day also. Sometimes here the values will be given in the form of time. Suppose it is given in the form of hours. So, in that case, it will be two units of work every hour. So, in one hour, how much work you will do, right? So, this is termed as efficiency. Or in simple words, it is called as one day work. And there are one dues na yes work madhantri, right? Fine. In the same way here, we will go through 60. So, if I divide this 60 and 60, so here it will become one unit of work per day. So, it will become one unit of work per day. So, presently I am writing all these units just for your understanding, not in the exam. 
try to understand this and whatever things i am writing it here we can write it here also okay so sometimes if we just directly write okay 2 1 and in this way you can write it here also right just for one clarity i am just writing these values for your better understanding okay don't think that we are going to do the same thing in the exam fine now here if i divide this then here i am going to get 5 units of work per day right 5 units of work per day so these are the efficiencies so efficiency of a is 2 units of work per day efficiency of b is 1 unit of work per day and efficiency of c is 5 units of work per day right so now see here two best things about efficiency okay there are two best things why we calculate efficiency or why we calculate one day work it is because of two reasons first thing we can add them or we can subtract them according to our situation what is the first best thing about efficiency we can add them or we can subtract them according to our requirement first thing. second thing whenever the efficiencies are being calculated by us these efficiencies are going to be constant now what i mean to say constant means it is not going to change efficiency of a person will not change unless and until it is mentioned in the question Matlab, sometimes what he will do he will clearly mention in the question that a and b are working together and after certain days the efficiency of a will increase by 20 percent it will increase by 20 percent so he will clearly mention it in the question or he will tell that a and b are working together and after five days a got injured and due to that one third of his efficiency his efficiency decreased by one third so when he he will clearly mention that in the question so unless and until it is mentioned in the question efficiencies are going to remain constant what is the meaning of it the meaning is if suppose here i told you that a is going to work a is going to do two units of work one day per day he is going to do two units of work now suppose if he is working for two days then he will do four units of work now see here now if i say that a and b are working together if i say that a and b are working together for two days a and b are working together for two days if i give this statement then also a in one day he will do two units of work and in two days even though he is working with b he is going to do his work right so in that case also a will be doing only four units of work so this is how this is the way in which i termed is at what constant i termed it as constant right so here a if a's efficiency is okay if a's efficiency is two units of work per day then it is going to remain two units of work per day only if he is working alone if he is working with two persons or even if he is working with hundred persons but that is not true in the normal case yes or no? when one person when individual person is working he will work with more efficiency and he will do more work but that itself when they are in the group okay when they are in the group he will not work with his full efficiency right so that is in the normal case but in the problems always efficiencies are constant they are not going to change unless and until it is mentioned in the question so i hope you all have got the clarity till here right so now let us move to the solution part okay now he is telling me uh, a has done now the question is a b and c together will complete the entire work in how many days right so see here when a b and c together they are working okay see if a alone is working he will do two units of work per day if b alone is working he will do one unit of work per day and if c alone is working he will do five units of work per day now when they are going to work together that means what i need to do i can add the efficiencies right so here it will become three three plus five will become eight eight units of work per day that means when a b and c they are working together when a b and c they are working together then they will do eight units of work per day 
right they will do 8 units of work per day right fine so now the question is in how many days okay when they are working together in how many days they will complete the entire work so how much is the total work here right so how much is the total work the total work is 60 work so this 60 work has to be completed by a b and c and in every day every single day they are going to do 8 units of work so in how many days the total work will be completed so just what you need to do this 60 work you have to divide it with 8 units of work per day so if you just see it by units also if you just see it by units also work and work will get cancelled this days will come in the numerator so how much it will become it will become 7.5 days right so if you just divide this then you are going to get 7.5 days right so that means in 7.5 days the work will be completed so i hope you all have understood this right so you all have understood this right so in detail i have discussed this question so that a upcoming question that had come in the mains examination so there we should have proper clarity okay so that there you should not have any doubt in understanding that question so i hope you all have understood this so please take the screenshot of this and we will move to the next question right so here we have another question okay so here we have another question so we will understand this question also in detail and then we will move to the next question okay so after that we will be solving the next question right so this is the question which had come in the mains examination sbi mains examination right okay now what he is telling me that a and b can do a work in 8 days b and c together can do it in 12 days and a b and c together will do it in 6 days then in how many days a and c together will complete the work right this is the question that has been given to me now whatever things we have followed okay in the previous question okay here whatever things we have followed so we are going to do using the same method we will solve the the next question also okay so in this question also we will solve it using this method only so il you know method change again right so here the method will be same right now see here first thing a and b together will do eight days right so what i told you here when i was solving the question whatever values you write here what I told you, it should be always 100% work done value. And there itself I told you that 100% of the work is done by individual or if it is done by two persons or whether it is done by three persons is not important. What is important is the work should be 100%, right? So, now you see A and B together they have completed a work in eight days. That means they both together did a 100% work in eight days. Right, so here we will write A plus B, they have done the work in 8 days, okay. So they have done the work in 8 days. B and C, B and C, they did the same work in 12 days, right. And now A plus B plus C, they have done it in how many days? 6 days, okay. So they have done it in 6 days. Now sometimes students will be having confusion, okay, that here some certain other value is given. Right? So, what we have to do? So, need not to worry. You just follow the procedure. What I told you? Here, whenever you write the values, it should be always 100% value. So, that 100% work done value. Okay? That 100% work done value is done by whom? That is not important for me. Right? So, here the 100% value should be there. Right? Now, we will take the LCM of this. Okay? We will take the LCM of this. Now, see. How to take the LCM? I told you. Which is the greater number? 12. So, you read the table of 12 in mind. See, I am just giving you an understanding here. So, 12 ones is 12. So, in this 12, what you do? You divide the remaining two numbers. You divide 6, it is divisible. If you divide it by 8, it is not divisible. Right? So, that means 12 is not my LCM. Right? So, 12 twos are, how much it will become? 24. Now, 6 is divisible. 8 is also divisible. So, that multiple of 12, that multiple of greater number, which will divide the remaining two numbers, that will be the LCM. That multiple of greater number, 
greater number is 12 that multiple of greater number which will divide the remaining two numbers completely right so the remaining two numbers completely so that multiple that number will be the lcm so what is the lcm here it is 24 right so let us write 24 here now i told you what is this 24 it is nothing but it is the total work it is nothing but it is the total work that i have to do so for time being i will represent this work as what i will represent this as w so w represents what it represents the total work right it represents the total work so now let us find the efficiency now i told you how to find the efficiency now you just divide this so what it will become so 8 3 is 24 so here it will become 3 units of work per day what does it mean if a and b together have done 8 units of work sorry they have done 24 units of work in 8 days then in one day how much work they have done they have done 3 units of work per day right so this is the efficiency of a and b together right so a and b together will do 3 units of work per day right b and c so 12 2 is 24 so they will do okay so how much they will do b and c together they will do 2 units of work per day right and after that 6 if you divide so 6 of forza is 24 so 4 units of work is done per day by whom when a b and c together they are working right when all the three persons are working together then they will do 4 units of work per day now some students they have a wrong habit of simply adding all the values right see try to understand that is why we why we spend so much of time here is okay because concepts are very important dear students right concepts are very important if you just simply follow the shortcuts okay so let me tell you that in every problem the shortcuts are not going to work right so some students okay they just run behind the shortcuts okay let me tell you okay don't have shortcuts understand concepts okay it is ultimately the concept only thing which is going to give you the selection right concept calculations are the things which are going to give you the selections especially in the banking examination if you just watch the mains level examinations that are being conducted by ibps or uh, sbi then the standard is uh, every uh, time the standard is they are just increasing the level of their difficulty some new varieties of questions are coming in the examinations right so all those type of questions can be tackled only when you understand the concepts now why we are spending so much of time here in understanding why i have taken w here why i am writing w by d here right so this is what the things you have to understand i am not going to write this every time when i am going to solve the problems uh, for the examinations right so we are going to write these values till it has been perfect in your mind it should be set in our subconscious mind that here this value is present right so that whenever we will be solving the question in the examination we will not be having any sort of confusion right now see here very simple thing what i have calculated here i have calculated the efficiency right so what are these values these are the efficiencies okay of two persons and three persons together now what i told you two best things about efficiency what is the first thing about efficiency that we can add them or we can subtract them depending upon the situation and second best thing about efficiency is that they are constant they won't change when these they are working alone with what efficiency they will be working when they are working with two persons it, it will be working with the same efficiency when they will be three persons working they will work with the same efficiency right so the efficiencies are going to remain constant unless and until sometimes efficiency will change i am not telling you that it will not change but when they are going to change it will be clearly mentioned in the question it will be clearly mentioned in the question so unless and until it is mentioned in the question we cannot change the efficiency so just see here when i am telling you that the efficiencies are going to be constant we can add them or subtract them according to the situation just look at this 
what we need to find we need to find in how many days a and c together can complete the entire work in simple words can i say that i need the efficiency of a and c here i need the efficiency of a and c let us calculate it see a and b together right a and b together can do a work in 3 days now see a plus b plus c is nothing but 4 then if i put this value a plus b is 3 that means in this place if i put 3 right so will i get the efficiency of c yes definitely i will get so here if i take it on this side 4 minus 3 will become what this is what it is 3 units of work per day so if i take it on this side what will be the efficiency 1 so what is the efficiency of c here it is 1 it is 1 unit of work per day it is 1 unit of work per day now what efficiency I need? I need the efficiency of A. Now, if I need the efficiency of A, then in this only you substitute the value of B and C. So, what he is telling me that B and C together is 2. So, this value is 2. B and C, this value is nothing but it is 2. So, if you take this 2 on this side, then 4 minus 2 will become how much? 2. That means what is remaining here? A is remaining. So, what is the efficiency of A? It is 2. So, what is the efficiency of A? It is 2 units of work per day. I hope you all have understood this. Right? Efficiency of B is not required. Why are you calculating it? Are you understanding my point? So, directly, now what I told you, you can add the efficiency. So, if you add it, then how much is it going to become? It is going to become 3 units of work per day. It is going to become 3 units of work per day. So, now what you do is, he has asked me that A and C together will complete the entire work in how many days. So, A and C together, A and C together will do 3 units of work per day. They will do 3 units of work per day. And if they have to do 24 work, then what you need to do? You just divide it by 3 units of work per day. Then you see, here from the units you see, the work and work will get cancelled, this D will come in the numerator, so 3 8s are 24, right? So in how many days? In 8 days, they will complete the work. So in 8 days, okay, A and C together will complete the work, right? So this is the problem how you need to solve it, right? So once when you practice a lot, all these things, see, I am telling you, honestly I am telling you, okay, that these things that I have written, Okay, that is nothing but this, the total work here, okay, and these efficiencies, whatever I have written, that is not necessary actually. But for your understanding, I have written all those values, right? So, I hope you have understood this particular problem, right? So, just take the screenshot of this and we will move to the problem, okay, uh, which had come in the SBI examination. Okay, so previous year question that we will discuss it now, right? So here we have a question, right? So here we have a question, right? A very good question you can say and this type of questions have to be asked, okay? Then only there will be purification, right? There will be filterization uh, between those students who have studied conceptually and between those students who have studied only shortcuts, right? So these, these are those questions which are going to give you the selections, right? These are those questions which are going to give you, which are going to differentiate between you and the your competitor, right? Fine. Let us solve this question. I have not taken the options here, okay? Fine. A and B can do a work in 12 days, but B and C can do it in 16 days, okay? And he is telling me that A does, okay, a work in 5 days, okay? A does a work in 5 days, Okay, A does 5 day work, okay, that means they are going to work, A is going to work, so A is going to work for 5 days, okay, and B is going to work for 7 days, and C does the remaining work in 13 days. So now the question is, in how many days, okay, C alone does the whole work, okay, C alone does the whole work. Right? So, this is the question that has been asked. Right? So, once you note down this question, okay, and we will solve this uh, particular question. So, by basic way, okay, whatever method we have discussed, okay, in the previous type. So, here you can say that this question is nothing but it is the application of it. Right? Now, how to solve this? 
okay now how to solve this now let us say okay let us say that he is telling me a and b uh, can do a piece of work so a and b can do a work in 12 days okay so he is telling me that he is going to do it in 12 days right and then he is telling me b and c can do it in 16 days okay so b and c can do it in 16 days right so now what we need to do okay only this much is given so see here a does 5 days work b does 7 days work and c does the remaining work in 13 days right so they are going to matlab he has told me that how much days they are going to work individually right so here what we will do is here we will find the okay here we will find the efficiency now here what will be the lcm it will be 48 yes or no because if you read the table of 12 okay so here we are going to have 48 so here if i take this 48 okay so here if i take the efficiency so 12 divided by this it will become 4 units of work per day okay and here it will become 3 units of work per day right so that means you can understand it in this way that is a plus b so here it is the efficiency of a and b and this is the efficiency of b and c now he has asked me okay that he has told me that a is going to work okay listen here okay that a is going to work a is going to work for five days okay then b is going to work for seven days okay and c is going to work for 13 days and in this days in this number of days the total work is completed okay now one thing you tell me that only from this given information can we find the efficiency of a b and c it is not possible right so i cannot find the a efficiency of a here okay matlab if you even if you are solving this two equations you are directly you are not going to get okay the efficiency of a b and c we need because whatever maths tells me us that whenever there are number of unknowns should be equal to the number of equations that means suppose if i write a equation here suppose if i write a equation here okay x plus 4 is equals to 7 in this equation there is only one unknown that is x and if i take it on that side i will get the value of x so there is one unknown value in one equation so i can find the value but suppose if i ask you the same question so this equation is not there suppose if i ask you a question x plus y is equals to 10 x plus y is equals to 10 tell me what is the value of x and y if i ask you this question then you cannot tell what will be the value of x and y you, there will be n number of possibilities right it can be 1 and 9 2 and 8 so so on exactly you cannot tell what is the value of x and what is the value of y it is because there is one equation and there are two unknowns so when two unknowns are there you need two equations to solve them right so in this way okay uh, so suppose if i tell you that x minus y okay x minus y is nothing but okay suppose if i tell you that x minus y is nothing but zero okay suppose if i give you this example then what is the value of x and y that is not necessary but when you have two equations and two unknowns you can solve the questions and same thing is with okay when three unknowns are there we need three equations right so in the previous question also we saw okay in the previous question also here you see okay so here when i solved this question then you see here we got the efficiency of a and b b and c a b and c so we had three equations here right we had three equations there that's why because of that reason we could find the efficiency of a b and c right but to answer this question the efficiency b was not required that is why i did not calculate the efficiency of b but whereas it could have been calculated right so we will we'll come back to this question again okay we will come back to this question again now here we have three unknowns so if you look at it properly then a is one unknown b is another unknown and c is another unknown so there are three unknowns but we have only two equations right so i will solve this particular question by two methods 
whichever method you find it easy, okay, you can use that method in the examination, right? So that is why this problem is, okay, come in the SBI examination, okay? Because we have to use our mind to solve this particular question. So now what we need to do is, okay, we need to, okay, we need to assume the efficiencies. So what we are going to do, we are going to assume the efficiencies. How we are going to assume? Just see here. Now what I will do is, here A and B, both together's efficiency is 4 units of work per day. Okay, it is 4 units of work, it is 4 units of work per day. And another efficiency what he is giving me, okay, so another efficiency which he is giving me, it is nothing but, okay, B, just a minute, okay, we will discuss it here only, okay, so we will discuss it here only. So this is the efficiency here, this is W, okay, and let us take the other efficiency that is nothing but 3 units of work per day. And this is the efficiency of B and C, okay, this is the efficiency of B and C. Now see here, now you listen to me carefully, okay. Now what I will do here is, I will assume the values of efficiencies, right. So I will assume the values of efficiencies. Now one thing is sure that when there is individual person given to me, anybody's efficiency being zero is not possible, right? Anybody's efficiency being zero is not possible. So the minimum efficiency that a person can have is one, right? So here what I will assume is the efficiency of A is nothing but one. Let us assume that the efficiency of this person is one. So if this person's efficiency Okay, if this person's efficiency is 1, then what will be the efficiency of B? It will be nothing but the efficiency of B will become, okay, it will become 3 because 1 plus 3 has to give me 4. Now see, efficiency of B being 3, here, here also it will be 3 only because it is not going to change. So B's efficiency here I have taken, it is 3. That means, what will be the efficiency of C? It will become 0, which is not possible, right? That means, I can surely tell you that this cannot be the possible efficiencies for this case, right? It is because if you take B as a 3 here, then already the sum of B and C is 3 itself. So here, the C value will become what? It will become 0, which is not possible, right? Okay. Now, we will take the another possibility. Now, what is the another possibility that A being 2 and B also being 2, yes or no? Because both of them, when you add it, you are going to get 4, right? And here you see B value is 2, that means here also the B value is 2 only. So, if it is 2, then what will be the value of a C? It will become 1. So, because 2 plus 1 will give me 3, yes. This is one possibility that we can have. But once you observe the efficiencies that I have taken, okay, you just observe the efficiencies that I have taken. Here I am taking the efficiency of A and B as equal. I am taking the efficiency of A and B as equal. I am not telling you that efficiencies of the two persons which are given in the examinations will not be equal. I am not telling you that. Right. So what I am trying to tell you, this possibility of getting two persons efficiency is bit less compared to other. So what we will do, we will keep this as the second preference, okay. Let us keep this as the second preference, okay. Let us talk about this, okay, later. Now apart from this, what can be the another possibility? So another possibility is A being 3 and B being 1. A being 3 and B being 1. So now if I just substitute it here because B is 1 and C will become how much? It will become 2. So these are the maximum possibilities that we can have the efficiencies. Right? Now some students will be having the doubt. Sir, what if uh, here the numbers are 4 and 3? What if, if 7 and 11 is going to come in the examination? No need to worry. 
okay no need to worry i told you in the starting itself that this question we will discuss it in two different methods okay so this is one method of assuming the efficiency another method is also there for explaining it is taking time but once when you understand it okay once when your concept is clear then you will be solving this problem in 10 15 seconds that's it not more than that right fine now see here now what i have assumed is the efficiency of a is 3 the efficiency of b is 1 and the efficiency of c is 2 this is the assumption that i have done now let us come here which is the given data right so what he is telling me the efficiency of a a has worked for 5 days so what is the efficiency of a it is 3 units of work per day it is 3 units of work per day so here day and day will get cancelled so 5 threes are will become 15 yes or no that means a has done 15 units of work so here i don't have space so let us okay so this is a and b together okay and then b and c so this is b and c okay so here they have done 15 units of work they have done 15 units of work so they have done 15 units of work now after that okay after that he is telling me that b's efficiency is 1 so b has worked for 7 days so efficiency of b is 1 unit of work per day and here what will happen here you will get 7 units of work that means b has done 7 units of work and c has the efficiency of 2 so here it is going to become 2 units of work per day and here if you just cancel this then 13 to is 26 work so if you just add this total work okay if you just add this uh, total work then you see okay so here it will become 13 and 13 plus 5 it is going to become okay so 13 plus 5 it will become 18 and here you see it is uh, 2 and 2 that is nothing but 48 work so if you add it together then you are going to get 48 work here which is equals to the total work that we have got here that means whatever assumption we have done is correct now suppose if we had not got 48 here which is equals to this value okay which is equals to this value if you have not got this value as correct then this possibilities which i had told you this possibility which i had told you okay this possibility which i had told you that we will take it as the second preference okay so directly we could have taken that this is the condition this would have been the condition if we would have not got here as the total work value that is 48 so here from this problem it has been confirmed that whatever values i have assumed here are correct right so now he is asking me that in how many days c alone does the whole work okay the c alone will do the whole work in how many days so what is the efficiency of c it is nothing but two so the answer so answer is nothing but 48 work has to be done by C and C does 2 units of work per day. So work and work will get cancelled here it will become 24. So that means in 24 days the work will be completed. So this is your answer. This is your answer. So in 24 days. Okay. This is your answer. Right. So I hope you all have understood this problem right so this is the mains level problem and this is how we need to deal it so lots of unnecessary things i have written here just for your understanding so you ne you need not to do it so lengthy in the examination you can just cut off all those unnecessary things right fine so i hope you all have understood the question now let us move to the another method of solving the same problem so just remember what is the answer here that we have got it is 24 days right so 24 days is the answer so okay 24 days is the answer so one thing that we are going to have okay so a and b is 4 okay so efficiency of a and b is how much it is 4 units of work per day 
okay and b and c right b and c their efficiency is 3 units of work per day right so now how to solve this question in another way okay let us assume that okay this is the total work that i have to do okay let us assume that this is the total work that i have to do okay let us take it in this way right this is the total work that i have to do and the total work okay this total work is how much it is 48 work just now we calculated that okay in the previous exam that by taking a and b as 12 b and c as 16 by using that okay so the total work that i have to do is 48 okay so that part of the thing we have to do it right we have to find the lcm we have to uh, find the total work so that things we have to do it so this total field or this total is the work that i have to do so this entire part is going to be nothing but what it is going to be 48 right so now see here now what i will do is i will just divide this work okay let us say that i will divide this work and i will say that this is the work done by a okay this much quantity of work is done by a and a will do this much quantity of work in five days okay he will do it in five days this quantity of work is done by b and this will be done in seven days right so this will be done in seven days and the remaining work this entire part will be done by c in 30 days so d will c will do it in 13 days clear everybody right now see here what i told you in the starting of the session that whenever a person is going to do any work the work capacity or you can say the efficiency or you can say one day work it is going to remain constant right so whether they are working individually or whether they are working in group or whether they are working with hundreds of people together also whatever efficiency is there whatever work capacity is there whatever one day work is there they are going to do their work right so now see here now as it is been told to me that a and b together will do four units of work per day so that is what we have calculated right a and b will do the work in 12 days okay so b and c will do it in 16 days right so if you take here it will become 48 work and here if you take the efficiency here it will become 4 and 3 so they are going to do four units of work per day and he will do three units of work per day right so this is the efficiency of what this is the efficiency of a and b together right so this is the efficiency of a and b and this is the efficiency of b and c together right so now see here now what i will do is i will just assume i will just assume that this work which is done by b in seven days i will just cut it into two parts that is i will say that this particular part of the work okay this particular part of the work okay he did it in two days okay this particular part of work he did it in two days okay this particular part and this remaining part of the work he has done it in five days so entirely he will do it in seven days so this part he will do it in five days okay so this particular part he is going to do it in five days let me mark that with blue okay so this particular part okay this particular part of the work is done in five days see this entire work from here to here okay whatever this complete work is there no this complete boundary work okay black color one okay so he is going to do this complete work in seven days okay so he will do it in seven days so in that only i have just divided it in two parts so this work i am assuming is that he will do it in five days and this remaining work i am assuming that he did it in two days why i am doing like this because just see here we know that the combined efficiency of a and b together a and b together combined efficiency is four units of work per day that means if i am combining both of them if i am combining i am assuming that a and b they worked for five days together which is possible okay even if they have not worked also there is no problem the answer is not going to be wrong right so a and b together worked for five days that means here you see a and b together they will do four units of work four units of work per day and they have done it in how many days they have done it in five days that means how much work it will become it will become 20 work 
so it will become okay 20 work so it is going to become 20 work that means in simple words you can say that in simple words you can say that this particular part of work this particular part of work okay which i have shaded it with green okay is nothing but 20 work right so i hope you all have understood it till here now see here now this much is the 20 work and now what i will do is i will divide this part okay this particular part where b has done this work in two days so now what i will do this person has done c has done the work in 13 days right so what i will do i will minus two days of it that means 11 days is remaining that means what i will do c has done this much work in two days okay this much work in two days and b has done this much work in two days so why i am doing it like this because both b and c together both b and c together will do three units of work together so now see here b and c together will do how much they will do three units of work together and they are doing it for two days so how much will be the work three to the six so six work they are going to do that means this particular part okay so this particular part of work this particular part of work okay so it is nothing but total it is nothing but six work so it is nothing but six work so this particular part combining both together okay it is nothing but how much it is 20 work so i hope you all understood till here now what is remaining only this part of the work is remaining so if i just take this part okay only this part of the work is remaining okay this part of the work is remaining so which is done by whom it is done by c alone yes or no it has been done by c alone and to do that c alone c alone will do that work in how many days because only 11 days are left with him right so total you see 20 plus 6 how much it is 26 the total work is 48 in that if i minus 26 units of work then how much will be left how much will be left 22 work will be left how much work will be left 22 work will be left and to do this 22 units of work c will take how much time it will take 11 minutes so if you just solve it from here in simple words if you solve it from here then you see c will do c will do 22 units of work in 11 days c will do 22 units of work in 11 days now the question is in how many days c alone does the whole work okay in how many days c alone does the whole work so the complete work so this complete work will be done by c alone in how many days right so the complete work is how much it is 48 if c can do 22 units of work in 11 days then to do 48 units of work okay how many days of time he will take so how much it will become it will become 24 right because you see half of this is present here okay half of this is present here so half of this is going to become how much 24 so 24 days right so i told you to remember the answer of this particular question which we solved it by the previous method and there also we got it as what we got it as 24 only right so i hope you all have enjoyed this question right so in whichever method you feel comfortable okay you solve it by that method okay so the points that you have to remember is the about efficiency so efficiency whether it is working individually whether that person is working with two persons whether that person is working with three persons then in all the cases the efficiency will not change unless and until it is mentioned in the question right so if in the question if it is mentioned that efficiency has increased by this much or decreased by this much okay in that case what we will do we will change it right so tomorrow's class okay we will discuss on the efficiencies only okay when there is a change of efficiencies we will discuss that okay so i hope you all have enjoyed the session okay so please tell me in the comment box okay that uh, okay so how was this particular question so we will discuss such type of questions that come in the examination okay so thank you very much and have a nice day